you guys asked a lot of questions so I'm going to be go going over my frequently asked questions for my balloon garlands in this video so let's get started <music> Hey designers, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you want to learn all the tips and tricks when it comes to jump starting your event designing business, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all future videos I do here on my channel. Let's just jump right into my most frequently asked questions when it comes to designing my balloon garlands. How long does it take to do balloon garlands? I'm going to say this a lot. It's a great question. <laughs> but it is a great question because I get asked this question so much. When it comes to this kind of balloon garland, it takes me between 45 minutes to an hour. That is usually my base foundation. Now that I've developed as an event designer and a balloon stylist, when I do balloon gardens like this one, it takes me probably between an hour and two hours, just depending on how intricate and how much work goes on. When I say two hours, I'm doing a lot of prep work prior to the event and then the day of the event. How far in advance can you make the balloon garlands? Usually I get asked this question and I always say you can probably do the balloon garlands a day before, one to two days before. Um, I would say no more than that because then you will start to notice the balloons will start to shrink, oxidation will start, and it won't look as pretty as it did when you first did it. Hey everyone, so I'm actually interrupting my own video to give you an updated response to this question. So it actually depends on the quality of balloons that you do get and that will dictate how long they stay filled. So if you buy higher quality balloons like Qualitex, um, they will actually last a lot longer. One of my designers that I'm actually coaching in my one-on-one -on -one program, she told me she had a balloon garland that lasted a few weeks, if not over a month. So it just depends on the quality of balloons and what you buy for your event. If you do decide to do it the day before your event, please just make sure that it is in a very kind of cool room it doesn't have to be cold but between 76 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit if it's in heat or outside it's going to you do that the day of in fact if you're gonna put a balloon garland outside make sure you do it inside first and then until an hour before the party starts then you bring it outside <laughs> that's just my suggestion because balloons outside are totally different they will react differently than balloons inside the third question is how many balloons are in your balloon garlands this is a hard question. I only say this because it takes, it, there's so many factors and various things that go into creating a balloon garland. First of all, I have to take into consideration how much air is being put in each balloon, how tall each balloon is, and then how wide I want them and the way I want it structured. Number four is, do you set up your balloon garlands at the venue or the location of the event? Yes, of course I do set up, but I think what this question was meaning was, do I actually put the entire garland together at the venue or do I put a little bit together at home and then bring it with me? So to answer that specific question is, I just blow up the balloons. I don't actually put it together with fishing wire just because one, I'm moving around in the car with it and I just rather have them loose in the bag and then just grab and go. So I do create duplets at home. I put them in garbage bags or these big balloon bags that they sell at Walmart. And, and also my five inch clusters as well. So those are all put together. And then when I get to the venue, the location, I'm then stringing them with my fishing wire. Number five is how do you transport your balloon garlands? Well, like I just said, so all the preparation that goes on in my house, I then transport it in my car. Now, I used to have this car right here when I first started and my little Mazda used to truck along and I could only fit about two bags of balloons. And there wasn't a lot and if I had help, I really couldn't bring that much. But now that I have this particular car right here, the SUV, I actually can lay down all of my seats in the back rows 
and put way more balloons. Number six is where do you purchase your balloons? This is a great question and this is a very common question I get. So I do purchase some of my balloon garlands um, with Amazon and some of my balloons with businesses around in my local area. My biggest thing is that I support other small businesses because I would want the same. So I give to those who I definitely obviously want. And when people support my small business, it makes sense for me to do the same for others. When in doubt though, I always refer back to Party City because if those local stores aren't open, Party City is my next best thing and they are everywhere. So there's that. So Amazon, local area, and or Party City is usually where I get most of my balloons. And so number seven is how long is the table arch kit? The table arch kit is actually made for a six foot table. I think it can go up to six and a half feet. Don't quote me on that, but I will list that also down below. Just be mindful when you guys use this table arch kit, the table has to be a certain thickness, otherwise the clamps won't grab onto the table. So not it's not fit for all tables. So what I end up telling my clients is I end up bringing a table just in case because they're like, oh yeah, you can do it. You can bring it along. And then it doesn't fit. Number eight is how many hours will the balloons stay filled? This is a great question because it kind of ties into the previous question of can I blow them up the day before? It just depends. So it depends on the quality of your balloons, how what the temperature is in the location that you're doing the balloon garlands. And if all of that's said and done, ideally you can, they can stay filled the entire event. And that's just me being honest. If it's inside event, it will stay probably for the whole day. Like I could literally keep my balloon garlands up for hours, if not a couple of days, and they really won't change. But again, that's up to you. Qual the quality of your balloons, you practicing with those balloons, and then just testing them out to see if they do last. Number nine is what glue gun do I use to glue the balloons onto the balloon garlands? This is a great question because I don't use my glue gun anymore. <laughs> I love my glue gun, but let me tell y'all, that thing takes too long to, to, to dry. If you notice in this video right here, when I created um, the hot air balloon, it took me forever. It took me almost three hours to do that and I blame the hot glue gun. However, some people have preferences over the hot glue gun. So the one that I keep in my kit, um, I had mentioned it in this video right here, the Amazon Favorites, is a low temperature glue gun. I got mine from Walmart for about like $7 and then they sell the packets of glue sticks. Just make sure when you buy those packets of glue sticks that they are the same for the glue gun. I made the mistake, I thought I, I brought mini glue sticks and it was for a regular hot glue gun and it did not work but other than that just make sure it's a low temperature glue gun if you do high your balloons will pop <laughs> number 10 is a good question how did you book your first client with your balloon garlands this is a good one <laughs> This is a great question and I get this a lot because I'm becoming an event designer coach and this is one thing is like how do I get people to pay my secret sauce you gotta wait till next week's video no I'm just kidding <laughs> I mean to get people to pay you have to look at this video and this video so these two videos right here will help you attract that client to pay and it get your name out there and that's the one thing i did i had my family and friends help me and they were helpful in the sense of getting people to pay for my prices that is the one way i got my first client is family and friends and just word of mouth but if you follow these two videos right here don't disappoint me go watch it now those go really into depth on how to track clients because then you're very clear about who you're trying to identify to pay for your prices. I hope I have answered all of your questions. Well, it's only 10 and I know you guys ask way more than that, but these are all the frequently asked questions I get about my balloon garlands. If I didn't answer your question, maybe I'll regret this in the future, but I don't care. 
if I didn't answer your question, make sure you comment down below. Give this video a big like. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, other event designers won't find my channel. Okay, help me out and support my channel by liking this video. If you haven't subscribed and you made it this far in this video, what are you doing? Just hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are designing your dreams into reality and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. A lot of people who are starting their business is to laundry's done. I have oh. Ugh.